Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you how to model this wooden chair with FreeCAD 1.0 really easy. Let's get started. Click on empty file. Click here and change to Sketcher Workbench. To model this chair, I am going to sketch this side view profile first. Then, I will use Pad Command to create separate solid bodies from this sketch. Click on Create Sketch Tool and pick XZ Plane. Click OK. Zoom out using the scroll mouse. Click on Create Polyline Tool. Click on the origin. Make sure the cursor looks like this. Move the mouse to around 650 mil. Again, make sure the cursor looks like this. This means the line is vertical and also along the Z axis. Click and move the mouse horizontally around 25 mil and click. Move the mouse down and draw similar to this shape. Make sure the cursor looks like this. This means automatic, horizontal, and vertical constraints are applied. Click at the origin to close the shape. Right-click to exit the command. These two lines are not constrained to horizontal, so I am going to apply horizontal constraint. Click on this tool and click on these lines. Now I am going to add dimensions. Click on Dimension Tool and click on this line. Make it 650 mil and press Enter. Click on this line and make it 100 mil. If you encounter this issue, just exit from the command and drag the lines like this. Click again on Dimension Command and add these dimensions. Make sure the sketch is fully constrained. Now I am going to sketch this rectangle box. Click on Create Rectangle Tool and click on X-axis. Click somewhere here and right-click to exit. Click on this Equal Constraint tool and click on these two lines. And these two lines. Right-click to exit. Click on Dimension tool and add this dimension. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Right-click to exit the command. Now I am going to draw this rectangle. Click on Polyline tool and draw like this. If you get this message, click on this constraint number and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Now it is fully constrained. All right, now I will draw this shape. Click on Create Rectangle Tool and draw the rectangle, starting on this edge. Make sure the cursor looks like this. Type 20 for the width and press Enter. Type 120 for the height and press Enter. To align this rectangle with this edge, I have to remove the horizontal and vertical constraints. Zoom in and click on this horizontal constraint and press Delete key. Do the same for other vertical and horizontal constraints. 
Now I am going to apply parallel constraints to these opposite lines. I will also apply perpendicular constraint to one corner, so the rectangle will be fully constrained. Add this dimension. Click on this coincident constraint tool and click on this line and this point. Right click to exit. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Right click and select fit all to see the full sketch. Now we have completed the first step. Let's turn this sketch to 3D solid bodies. Click on this drop down and change to part design workbench. Switch to model tab. Click on this sketch and press F2 to rename the sketch. Let's call this master sketch. Click anywhere here to unselect the sketch. Click on Create Body Tool and rename the body. Let's call this Left Back. It's a good practice to name the sketches and bodies if you're modeling a complicated parts. Right click and check if this is Active Body. Select these lines. and click on Shape Binder Tool. Click again on Create Body Tool, rename the body to Left Front. Make sure this body is active, and select these lines. Click on Shape Binder Tool. Click anywhere to unselect and click on Create Body. Rename it to Seat and select these lines. And click on Shape Binder. Click anywhere to unselect and click on Create Body. Rename it to Backrest. Select these lines. And click on Shape Binder. Click to unselect and click on Left Back. And click on Binder. Click on Pad Command to give thickness. Type 25 for the length and press Enter. Now click on Left Front and click on Binder. Click on the Pad command again and type 25 again for the length. Press Enter. Click on Seat and click on Binder. Click on Pad command and type 400 for the length. Press Enter. Click on Back Rest and select Binder. Click on Pad command one more time and make it 400 again for the length and press Enter. To complete the rest of the model, I can use Assembly Workbench, but I am going to stay on Part Design Workbench and duplicate the left side solid bodies to right side using the Create a Clone command. Click on Left Back and click on Create a Clone command. Rename this new body to Right Back. Go down and switch to Data tab if you are on View tab. Click on this arrow to expand. Click here to move the body along Y direction. 
and type 375 so it will be moved to other end. Now select the left front and click on create a clone command. Rename this new body to right front. and type 375 again to move the body along Y direction. We are almost done. I am going to add radius to these corners. Click on Fillet Command and pick these two edges. Type 10 for radius and press Enter. Rotate the model so you can see the back side. Double click on left back to make this body active. Click on this edge and click on fillet command. Type 20 for the radius. Any modification to this body will be automatically updated on cloned body. Same way, if you edit the master sketch, it will reflect on shape binder. Let's add this curve to the seat. Double click on seat to make it active body. And click on this face. And click on create sketch tool. Click on this tool to copy external reference lines from existing solids. Click on this edge for reference. Right-click to exit. Click on Create Line Tool. And draw a line on top of this copied reference line. Make sure the cursor looks like this. Click on Create Arc Tool. And click anywhere for center point and click on this point and this point. Again, make sure the cursor looks like this. Let's add dimension to this curve. Make it 2000. Click on Pocket Tool and change to through all type for the length. Click OK. I hope you like my video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you and see you soon with another video.